Hello, I'm Allison. It's happy to see you again. Welcome to Music Appreciation. Today I'm going to talk about Frederick Chopin, one of my favorite composers, great pianist, and considered to be the poet of the piano. I'm going to play for you several types of pieces by Chopin, some of which he originated. Now he was known as a romantic composer. Um, the Romantic era, which thrived during the early 1800s to the mid-1800s, was a time of great originality, where each composer developed their own style of playing and writing. And he made a sensation in Paris because his music was unique, and because the piano salon inside private or small chambers was very popular. When Chopin was a young man, he trained in Poland and also in Vienna, and he had an exquisite touch and technique, and he wrote his etudes and piano concerto while still living in Poland. But one time he went on tour, and he was unable to return to Poland because of the revolution in 1830. So he moved to Paris, and he thrived there, and he received many commissions. Some of the pieces that he brought with him are the Mazurka, the Polonaise, and the Nocturne. The Mazurka is influenced by a Polish dance in 3-4 time, as is the waltz. Now, though his waltzes are not necessarily meant to be danced. Um, you'll hear the waltz in A minor by Chopin. One of the next pieces I'm going to play for you is an etude by Chopin. He wrote three sets of etudes, and Opus 10 has 12 etudes, and each of these is a study that focuses on a different technical aspect. Now, many of you will remember that Chopin wrote mostly for the piano, and he explored many tonal possibilities, chromatic figurations, he knew how to use the pedal. But most importantly, he was interested in writing beautiful, expressive melody. And this etude, which is sometimes called Tristes, is an example of his wonderful melodic invention and expression.
Chopin also wrote a type of piece called a mazurka, which was a dance in 3-4 time. This was influenced highly from folk music of Poland. You can hear in the grace notes and ornamentations sounds that might remind you of the violins in gypsy music. This is the mazurka in F major. play for you one of his nocturnes for piano. Now a nocturne is a piece evoking the night. Uh, it's usually poetic, it's usually soft and uh, very melodic. Typically the left hand has a repeating pattern. 
Chopin made the nocturne into a famous composition, but he didn't invent it. It was John Field, the Irish composer, who inspired him. But Chopin made the most famous nocturnes. Now I'm going to play for you for the, the nocturne in B flat minor. Thank you. 
And the next piece I'm going to play for you is a little bit like a nocturne, but it's a one of a kind actually. It's Chopin's Bersus, which is translates to lullaby, and it's based on a short theme which is then varied uh, in uh, many different forms with filigree figurations and chromaticism and very inventive operatic style writing for the piano. Um, but the one thing that ties it together is the ostinato rhythm, which is a lullaby rocking rhythm. the melody on top. So enjoy. My last piece for you tonight is the bar, <laughs> the bear Seuss of Chopin.
Thank you for listening to my set of Frederick Chopin. I'll be back with more music very soon.